Today we'll be playing with bio baits. This is supposed to be plant matter based. So it, two things. One, eventually it'll be uh, biodegradable. Unlike plastics, it stays in uh, nature forever. It also stays in some of the fish stomach for a long time. Some plastic can be passed easily. Some will stay in there forever until the fish accumulates even more and more plastics and then they'll starve and die. You ever see a skinny bass? and skinny for like no darn reason, like out of season being skinny, that's because it probably has a couple senkos in his belly. But anyway, so far I'm squeezing this. It's, it's, uh, it's pretty durable. It doesn't have salt like uh, some other plastic. I think salt actually makes the plastic easier to break. So I like this so far and let's take a sniff. Oh, it got some, some sort of oil on it. I can feel it in my hands and I can smell it. Some sort of fish oil. But anyway, I am throwing this on an eighth ounce jig head, if I can get it up. Boom. Just like that. On my bait caster. Medium light bait caster from uh, casting the Perigee 2. Whoa, 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 easy. Just ran over a tree. But yeah, let's see if we catch some fish today with this awesome, awesome bio bait lure, grub tail. So I apologize for the noise over there. Apparently the farm has uh, connected a uh, pipe to this sand wash and it's just pulling water out of this place. And um, yeah, they gotta water the, the farm, grow some crops. What can I say? Can't stop them. But right now the wind blown side is here, so it's kind of noisy. There's a lot of baby fish. What you see here are baby fish. I don't know if it's baby bass, baby bluegill, but I can see it. You guys can't see it. But there's like some sort of a, a lot of school. Let's say there's a lot of schools, okay? And the goats catch some bass, some crappies. I put a big hook on for a reason because I don't want those bluegills, but they do have some big bluegills here. You see it on the side, there's some uh, sandy bright spots because they already, they're starting nesting all around the edges. Got one. Oh yeah. Whoa, 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 Easy. Easy. Easy, bro. Oh, oh yeah. Pull if you have to. There we go. There we go. There we go. All right, that's a little too much. Easy, boy. Easy. Bio baits. Go. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. 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 Oh. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Here, let me just get me some line and get out of this tree. But he was actually in the tree. Look at that. All right, little fella. Let's put you in the water. There you go. Back underneath the trees. Okay. There's a tree here. See anything right by the trees. Always something nice by the trees, you know what I'm saying? Dump it in softly. Get it to the ground. Tapped. It was definitely something there. Probably a bluegill tapped me, but it wasn't anything big. That's another tap. All right, so the bluegill wants this. Too bad I got a big giant hook on it. Oh, got one. Got another bass. Hey, easy. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, okay. In you go. That's a lot of fish around here. Oh, what did I get? Go, gotta be the bluegill. Did it pull it down? Yes, it did. Look at that. Pull down my lure. I wonder if there's anything right underneath these trees right there. Hippity up, hippity up. 
All right, anyways, there's a lot of bait fish, like I said. So there gotta be some more fish hanging around, some bigger ones. That's a fish. Bam! Oh yeah. Dude. 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 That's a pickerel. Woo! All right. Give it. Give it some line. Lift it up. Don't have my grippers. So I will have to do my best and not lose my lure or my fingers. Oh, ah, yeah. He got me, he got me, he got me. He got my finger. Woo. All right, all right. I got him back. Woo. All right, I just want you guys to see this feisty little guy who nipped my finger. I don't think I'm bleeding, but got him. Right in the jaw. In you go, bud. guys I'm gonna put on the same bio bait grub again but this time I'll do a 1 8 ounce jig head with the underspin the water here is crystal clear so I want to make sure that those fish can see it from far away with this bright Sun so they'll start chasing because man whoo they, there's some they gotta be somewhere here the water's so deep here I just need to go attract them so hopefully this underspin will do it along with the bio baits let's go
Here we go. <laughs> Baby, that's what I'm talking about. All right, guys, it's getting uh, windy and the fish kind of stopped biting. It's been tough all day, but I think this bob bait right here was really, really good. It's withstanding a lot of fish bites, all the stuff that I caught today and missed. And uh, the only time I had to put on a new one is because the a big pickerel, it stole my bait. And then I put one on a smaller lure that didn't really do too well with the underspin. So I went back to the plain jig head so it falls faster because this is pretty deep here. And uh, I think that has been the key for me. But I really enjoy this outfit I have for throwing small little grubs and likely gonna do a lot more net rigging in the future. But right now, let's not even talk about net rigging. Let's talk about this Plano jig and a grub tail. If you guys like this bow bait lore, just wait until you guys see, I have a different bow bait. It's a colorful, awesomely painted fluke. It's five inch fluke style lure. And oh my gosh, the patterns on those lures are so amazing i gotta use those very soon texas rig weedless and get out there and catch some fish for you guys but i know it's noisy back there because it's still pumping water and the wind's picking up so i just gotta say thank you for watching my videos uh, make sure you guys subscribe if you want to see those crazy looking bio bait flute lures because it's coming very very soon summer's here and uh yeah i gotta be fishing those for either snakeheads snakeheads bass or pickerels Peace out.